Alright guys, so I'm doing another video for uh, Napa Valley Bait. Um, basically, showing off two more of the flavors that I got from them. Uh, David was nice enough to hook me up with uh, blueberry and mango. So I have the mango, and it's a 400 milligram to the other side. Ooh. And mango. And then over here we have the blueberry. This guy is going to be 200 milligrams. So, both of these flavors are really awesome. Um, to explain the mango, the mango it literally tastes like you're biting into a fresh mango. Um, probably my second favorite flavor uh, from them. The first favorite being watermelon, of course. Um, just because I love watermelon everything. Uh, I drink the watermelon Arizona iced tea, watermelon candy or whatever I can get it you know watermelon's my thing but mango is definitely now my second uh, followed up by grape and now blueberry uh, the blueberry is very very it's different it's not you know overpowering it's not bitter which is what I was actually almost expecting I almost expected it to be kind of bitter but it's sweet um, and you get it in the aftertaste when you're exhaling. You don't get it in the uh, initial like intake of it. In the initial intake of it, it almost tastes like the grape. And then as you're exhaling, you you taste it on the out uh, or on the exhale of it rather, and you taste it like after. It, it takes a second or two for it to really get on your tongue. Um, but both of them are awesome. Uh, the CBD content on them. Are Point on as always, um, you know. Even just in the you know the the bronze bottle, you can see the amount of CBD that's in there. This is the 400 milligram, but you can see how thick it is, you know. So, um, and even in my tank, you can see it's not 100% clear. You know, it does have the crystals in there. It's really tough because it's trying to focus on my face. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I'm gonna be vaping out of two things again. Um, I have my Nautilus with the blueberry. Um, I also have my Triton mouthpiece on this. So I'm actually gonna switch that out and go back over to the uh, when I go back over to the Triton Mini. Um, but on the Triton Mini, I got the uh, Mango, and these are both using the uh, new Clapton coils. Um, these are these guys here. They're the Aspire Triton Clapton coils. It's a cantal coil. Um, both of them are, I mean, these coils are awesome. Um, other thing I do suggest vaping this stuff with too is their nickel coil. Uh, this is uh, temperature control for the Triton Mini. But um, both of those work really well. You don't want to vape this stuff. I mean, I, I've found 14 watts to be the max. Um, 15 almost kind of burns it and you know it vapes awesome if you hit it at 14 yeah 14.5 like max um, but with that said you guys are here to watch me vape so I'm gonna start vaping And again, you taste it in the exhale, you don't taste it initially. Um, like I said, the initial flavor, there it is. Um, the initial flavor is the grape almost. It, it, it has like that sweet taste of the grape as when you're, you're inhaling it. And then as you're exhaling, it takes like a second or two for your tongue to catch up with the flavor. Um, do it one more time. So yeah, you can taste it definitely. The blueberry is there, um, and it's really good. Um, you know, like I expected, uh, like a bitter blueberry almost, but it's on point. Like sweet blueberry, like perfectly ripe blueberry. Um, doesn't have that bitter taste to it at all, like I was expecting for the blueberry. Um, really good. The 200 milligram, like I said, if you're you know. 
out casually and you want to, you know, something to just maintain, um, you know, your relaxation and stuff like that, that works perfectly for it. Um, definitely works for me, you know, because I use the 200 milligram when I'm either, you know, driving in the car or when I'm uh, at work, you know, I'll go outside, take a couple pops, and go right back in, I'll be nice and relaxed, my shoulders don't hurt, you know, I could take probably about 10, and, you know, I get that relaxation from it, um, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting over it, cool guys, I know it was gross, <laughs> but with that said, uh, I'm going to try some of the uh, mango, and uh, this one's a little bit stronger, I mean, you know, like I said, I I've been using this stuff now for probably about a month and a half uh, from Napa Valley, and this stuff works really, really well. Um, the 400 milligram definitely suggest it. Uh, the 200 milligram is even really, really good. And even if you want to just try it, I mean, the the 50 and the hundreds are you know solid too. Um, it's just I've been using CBD now for going on four months. Um, and I switched to Napa Valley Vape over two months ago. So, um, and I haven't used another one of them since because his flavors are just awesome. David does an amazing job with the flavors. Uh, they do an amazing job with, you know, providing the right amount of CBD to it. And, you know, the quality of the work, you can taste it in every, every inhale and exhale of that product. It's, you know, just very, very smooth. Um, here we go again, uh, the mango. The mango is awesome. I love the mango. The mango, you t I taste like I just bit into a nice fresh piece of mango. He nailed this one. It's so good. I actually, I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but maybe if I cover up. There you go. So you see, I'm at 14 watts. All right, that's what I'm vaping at. And you see, it creates a nice cloud production too. So you like, not only are you getting the CBD benefit, not only are you getting you know that great relaxed feeling, but in addition to that, if you're like a smoker. You're getting that awesome cloud that you would expect from like a nicotine-based e-juice too. So you know, definitely can help people quit uh, smoking for sure. And like I said, my cousin actually uses the uh, the regular e-juice, like the nicotine stuff. And I actually got him to switch over to this now. He doesn't use the nicotine-based stuff anymore at all. Um, so there you go. <laughs> And again, this stuff stops awesome. <laughs> I can I can vape on that all night. Um, I actually probably will. But yeah, the uh, the mango is awesome. It's it literally picture a fresh cut mango that's ripe and ready to go. That's what's there. <laughs> it's it's perfect. I don't know how he did that, but. Kudos to you, dude. Wow. Um, but yeah, like I said, going down the list, I've had quite a few. Um, I've had watermelon, I've had the blue raspberry, uh, Jolly Rancher, I've had the grape, I've had grape Jolly Rancher, I've had, uh, I think already said one more. Um, this is now mango and blueberry. Um, I've had strawberry, the strawberry is good too. Um, I actually gave that to my aunt, she liked it so much. <laughs> And like I said, my whole family, you know, tries this stuff with me. Um, you know, not my mom, my dad, but my aunt, my uncle, my uh, cousins, uh, my brother, who's 27. But yeah, they all try it, um, and they all, you know, have their own input on it. Um, and like I said, most of them like it. Um, you know, not nobody's said no, I don't like it. I'm just saying, though, they all like it. Um, it's just different when you go from a nicotine-based e-juice to CBD-based. Uh, it's 
very similar. It's just they don't get that rush, you know, that they get from the uh, nicotine-based stuff. So, and they're used to that. But anyway, on that note. I actually cleared up my notes. <laughs> um, but yeah, with, on that note, I'm going to leave you guys with that. I hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoy the videos. I'll keep making them, um, you know, and I'll keep trying different flavors from them. Uh, you know, if you guys have questions, I actually will answer them. Uh, actually, to answer somebody's question, uh, somebody asked me why they use the bronze bottles. Or why they, what's the difference rather between the bronze bottle and the queer bottle? Uh, I actually asked the owners. Uh, they switched all the bottles. They don't use the queer bottles anymore. They switched all the bottles to the bronze bottles because it protects the uh, the product from the UV ultraviolet lights. Um, so basically, it keeps the product fresher longer which I can definitely attest to. I've had the uh, Watermelon 15 for a while, just because this is my favorite. <laughs> so I've been like babying that uh, while I try the other flavors and see you know, what other ones I like. But um, I've been babying that bottle. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like I said, it, it keeps it fresher a lot longer. You know, I, I can definitely attest to that because I've tried, you know, a couple of the ones that were in queer bottles. And I actually still have one. Um, I don't know where, but I have one somewhere. I think it was actually... No, no, it's in the other room. Oh, no, it's not. It's right here. This is a Honey Hop Apple. As you can see, I didn't like it. But, um, that was 50 or 100 milligrams. Um, I actually put it in that bottle. It wasn't a bronze bottle, but it went bad, uh, it doesn't taste that great, so, uh, long and the short of it, that's the reason that they do that, uh, you know, it gives it better quality, uh, and longer shelf life, so, at that note, I'm going to take another vape, blow it in your face, and you guys have a good night.